This is a demonstration of the HG-T series through beam displacement sensor from Panasonic. We're going to begin by initializing the sensor to factory settings. Press and hold the right arrow key for two seconds until detect is displayed. Then press and release the left arrow key twice until it says reset. Press the down arrow key, yes will be displayed. Then press the enter key to accept the setting and then enter again to do the factory reset. Once OK is set, press and hold the exit key and it'll go back to the run mode. The next step is to check for alignment. Press the right arrow and the enter key for two seconds. This will put the sensor in alignment mode. Then adjust the sensor until both green arrows light up. If out of alignment, the arrows will blink orange. Once aligned, register the waveform by pressing the enter key. There are several modes of operation for this sensor. Let's start by checking the external diameter of this one millimeter cylindrical part. I confirmed it was one millimeter with digital calipers. Adjust the operation mode by pressing and holding the right arrow key until detect is displayed. Press the down arrow key. Auto edge is the default mode. Press the enter key and press and release the right arrow or the left arrow until out WD is displayed. This is the width detection mode and then press enter. Press and hold exit to return to the main screen. Okay, now I'm gonna take the part, move it into the beam and you'll see on the display it'll measure the outside diameter of the part. In this case, we're looking at roughly one millimeter. And in fact, it's very, very accurate. Look at how stable it is and also repeatable. Now let's take a look at gap detection or inner diameter parts. Here is a part that is roughly three millimeters on the narrow side and five millimeters on the wider side. The sensor can be programmed to measure the gaps and pass or fail with discrete outputs. On the controller, press and hold the right arrow until detect is displayed. Press the down arrow and then press the enter key. Press and release the right or left arrow until inside diameter gap is displayed. Press the enter key to select it, and then press and hold the exit key to go back to the main screen. Okay. Now I just place the smaller inside diameter in the beam, and I see a value around three millimeters. And when I flip it over to the other side, I see a value that is around five millimeters. Also notice that output two is on with the narrow part, and output one is on with the wider side. Okay, in this application, we will set the HG-T sensor up to see the difference between wire with outer insulation and wire with insulation removed. On the controller, press the right arrow until detect is displayed, press the down arrow, then press the enter key. Press and release the right or left arrow until external form with detection mode is selected then press the enter key. Press and hold the exit key to return to the main screen. Next, we will teach the sensor. Press the left arrow until teach is displayed. Set one will show. Then we will place the wire with insulation removed inside the beam and press the enter key to teach the part. If good is displayed, the teaching was completed successfully. Okay, here you can see with the insulation not removed, you see output one 
is on. And then when I flip it around to the other side where the insulation has been removed, you'll see output two is on. You also have a nice little indication there with the green being good and with the orange colors being uh, in bad condition. This final application, we will really put the sensor to the test and see if it can reliably do edge guiding of very transparent material. For this, it will be best to use the software and perfect opportunity to see how easy the software is to use. One really awesome feature of the HG-T series is the optional free software when paired up with the USB communications unit. For applications like transparent edge guiding, or if you want a simpler, more intuitive interface, the software is definitely the way to go. Currently, the 64-bit version of the software is on our website, and you can find that by going to ramcoi.com, hover over vendors, click Panasonic, and then scroll down to measurement sensors, and it's right here, the HG-T series. On this page, you can see all the information for the HG-T, catalog data, CAD data, and right here is where you can download the software. Once you've downloaded the software and installed it, you can go ahead and run it, and it will look something like this screen here. I've got the, uh, the controller plugged into the USB unit, and we just click on this, go to settings, and what we'll do in this particular case is we'll do a read. So we'll read all of the settings from the controller currently. This right here shows the intensity of received light across the axis of the sensor from the top to the bottom. This right here is the judgment level. The judgment level is a set value that's used to judge whether the sensor receiver is in a light entry state or a light interception state. You can adjust this level over here. And one reason to do that would be enabling objects with a real high transmittance to be measured stably. So in the application, of doing edge guiding with transparent material, we can adjust this judgment level so that we would be able to accurately uh, measure and do edge guiding. Now down here are the measurement settings. So this is where we select the operation mode, just like we were showing earlier on the controller itself. This drop down menu would allow you to select the appropriate uh, detection mode. So in this application, we're going to select edge detection mode and the measurement direction is going to be from the top. And we're going to select right. We're going to write that to the controller. Now I'm going to put part into the beam and you can kind of see there's something going on there but it doesn't go to the judgment level so what we need to do is we need to go in here and we need to raise this value up and I'm just going to throw in uh, 45 hit right and we'll see where we're at with that There you can see it's doing edge guiding. It's not perfect. So what I may need to do, because you can see it's dipping, this judgment level is dipping a little bit. We can just raise this up and maybe just to be safe, we'll raise that up to like 60 and we'll write that in. 
now you can see we're getting a real solid, stable edge guide across the measurement range. For more information on this, or if you have any other sensor applications you'd like to discuss with us, contact us at ramcoi.com.